Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Long War of the Chosen Army of Four. And once again a smash and grab mission. Well, the camera was clearly moving through one of my soldiers. And we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders. And Firebrand will handle the rest. Alright, your little thing, your little rules. We gotta approach that, those crates here. There's sometimes a drone in this area of the map. Okay. So, don't wanna run into that. Let's actually take a okay. take a quick peek from up here. Looks clean-ish. Clean enough at least. Das lasse ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. Ah, it's seven to nine mission, right? So would definitely be possible considering the high ranking soldiers we have on this one. Maybe even with the use of a nice Reaper chain that we can clean this up and grab as many crits as possible. Said we don't have any any hacking capabilities, so no easy stealth stun kill on a drone. Also, Overlord here is a little bit on the slow side if we have mobility. Then we're gonna keep an eye on the drone and find something else. Like if we can get a group, that's not necessarily a group. Enemy squad located. This trench gun opener from Amy would go a long way to clear this map. Let's land a side on that guy. Closing on target position now. Interestingly, they are right next to each other, but the scout has one more tile detection range than the drone. So even though I don't see this drone, that kind of tells me I should be okay doing a move like this. Right, I'll see them all. Hmm. Anywhere where I can sneak to where I might get. It's... I don't know where these guys will go. They might come down here, they might continue this way, they might turn around. Uh, just come here. We're looking for crates. I think it's more focused on the left side here on this map. Don't see any crates over there, so I'm not even gonna bother going over there then. Um, that's actually. Yeah, let's, let's bring you over on the left. Try to keep your concealment. Bestätigt. Überwachung läuft. I've gone for that spot. I think that was the spot I was looking at. I guess now we're just gonna grenade them. Yeah, let's do that. This is for you! Of drones and scout is on one HP. Yeah, 
And the game's like, yeah, you know what? That's not even worth the combat music. Just gonna stop it. Um, hmm. Zu Befehl. That's gonna be in range for um, close encounters here. That's good enough for that guy. Ah, there we have combat music, and it's gone again. That's affirmative. Enemy patrol on the move. That's four more enemies right here. I'm a little bit concerned actually about Amy's positioning now, so I think uh, I'm not in position to teamwork her. Okay. Moving on target location. Let's fall back here. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Now we do have untouchable right here, so as long as we don't have two or three guys hitting me on yellow alert, we should be fine. Surely there's a more difficult task available. Alright. That was good work. Advent's locator is down. Good guess on the active. on the crates here. Yeah? I do see a drone there. So the drone was not, I think the group was the two snakes and a spectre, I want to say. So if I can actually pull the drone, that would be nice, but you know, alternatively. I'm as graceful as a gazelle. Been I think we might Talk just overwatch is. here. And next turn we peek forward when we also have the grenade available. Affirmative. Covering now. Mir entgeht nichts. Fail. Muss mich zusammenreißen. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Metis 1 5. Next position. Easy kill here. Yeah? Fine, terminiert. Die Munition wird knapp. Closing on target position now. And the snake's in sight. Well, probably the rest of the group too. Uh, okay. That's the case. Uh, great, we don't have any line of sight. Hmm. I enjoy the rush of air against my senses. I think in that case we're just gonna gonna go into position here. Ah, so they're inside, right? Seems doable. So that should be outside of their vision range. And then I'm in position to mark this crate at the start of next turn. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And you're gonna hunker. There's still loot to pick up. No, that that's what's well, gonna be challenging. That is gonna be real challenging. Understood. Moving out. Alright. 
right, can we get you closer without activating those guys? And potentially in a position where you can get a nade in there, I think we actually would have to do something like this. Can get four tiles closer, five tiles closer if we want to play, play it risky. I can handle that. Alright, that's uh, potential here. Fire in the hole. Go for it. Yeah, you got the burn on that snake. Our oh, snake was far enough in the back that we couldn't have hit it anyway. Now it's just a question of where you're going to. Alright. So I could potentially slice you. Now that's a guaranteed kill. Didn't use my whirlwind move to get in there. Yeah, you mark the crate. You can also hit that guy. There's two more enemies on the map that we don't know about yet. Which I feel like, knowing my experience from the map, they're often in this, in this corner. Now we do get untouchable if we kill this guy. I could go here, it puts me on a crate and puts me potentially in cover against enemies coming from that side. But then I have less crit chance against this guy because I'm not point blank. I will also go for the stun on the spectre. So we do activate the last two guys. It's a Rocketeer and a Guardian. I feel light on my feet. What do you got? 65 and a 50. So I'm thinking the better choice is going to be to move up. Should I double check that for you? And damage them here with the shredder gun. Reaper. My sword is thirsty. I um They're on to me. Assuming that the game is not lying to me about the damage numbers here, okay. Wait, what are we doing here? I think we're doing the, the stun. Hoffentlich klappt das. Ebenezer. 
Resurgence located. Target Assist neutralized. Secure. No, we still have a crate down there, which we want to get. So, grapple up here. Uh, that should allow me to drop down here. On your order. Mark the crate. The snake burns to death. Spectre has an easy kill next turn. Right, there was still loot here on the side. Let's grab that. Where do you want it? It feels good to move around. I don't know, it's just a matter of marking the crates and getting to evac. Heading out. And picking up that spectre loot because that is new potentially good loot. Firebrand, it's time to go. Alright. Two missing crates, they are already marked. Let's, let's leave. Ich habe das Paket. Whatever you say. Let's see what it can do. Good to go. I'll be leaving now. Now that is a 12th crate for this mission. You know, after our um, not quite 12th crate mission there on the lost map. And my thoughts. My concerns about smash and grabs or crate extractions rather. But this definitely was about as textbook as it can be. Although I still feel we're getting away fairly easy with some of those tier 1 enemies, like that According baseline that, Rocketeer with 6 health. Attacks by dissident elements operating outside of the city centers have done little to slow the progress of Advent's ongoing development or outreach programs. Voluntary citizen emigration numbers are reportedly at their highest level in recent years. I'm certainly impressed, Commander. Another heroic effort in the field. Biggest booms, yes, please. Now we could and we probably should pick up um, bring them on. Like we have it on our other grenadier, but that was already there in the XCOM row, so we didn't respec into it, so we can still respec into it on one person. And I think with grenades that can crit, having grenades that can crit for more uh, is definitely worthwhile. So, what was this? Alright, the jailbreak. We're waiting for anyone in particular for that mission. Or did I just have one training happening here? Don't call it action. I think we can set that up right away.
Oh, let's take a look at this then. Barrier, large map. So, the usual approach. We want to have ideally one of our shinobis for stuff scouting. Scrap you for that one. Um, ideally one of our specialists for hacking and potentially getting an extra reward. Anyone higher than a corporal, you're infiltrating. Oh, we have double specialists infiltrating the other mission because I thought that was a smart idea. Uh, I guess we could take our spark for hacking. And then we need people to deal with the enemies. You're free XP away from a promotion, and you need some more bonding with your with your bond mate. Give everybody the best equipment that we have available. Ruler Ops, I think I want you with a nano scale, even though ideally you never get shot at. Do we start bringing some better SMGs here? I think yes. Let's grab... Let's grab a subcon. I, you're still gonna be... If you're gonna be attacking, you're gonna be attacking with your sword. But you... Not terrible aim. Might as well get a proper SMG. And I do like subcallers. That seems all decent enough. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Oh, we have this weird um, backdrop here of the ship shadow. I never figured out when that happens. For a while I always thought that was something on my screen, but no, 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 there's some weird artifact from the game. But go away if I go in. Yeah, okay. Very strange. Um, anyway. Infiltrating that. I think the other mission was not worth the timer. Oh, let's get Edwin's attention anyway. Okay, we're recruiting up here. Hoping to drop vigilance a little bit. Yeah, that seems all fine. We should have a Haven Advisor in here. Got somebody there. This is faceless free. Alright, let's just keep scanning for more missions, I guess. I alert dark event. Hmm. 
So scientists, a little bit of intel. Not be concealed at the start of missions. I, so it's not a generic that every mission will have that, but some missions will have that sit trap high, high alert and not being concealed at the start of mission is obviously not great. So if we can, we should do this one. Probably have to boost it though. Um, let's see. We bring most of the guys we just had on the other mission. Like, what's what's your deal with your your bonds? Do you really not like anybody? Those guys are already bonded, and everything else is four points. Oof. Six. What kind of mission is this anyway? Um, rescue VIP from cell. So wouldn't be the worst if we could actually, you know, bring a specialist on this. Specialist officer. So even with the boost, this is not going to be enough. So what if we instead brought the other specialist, who's an officer, and who, you know, might as well just carry an SMG and not do much. 65. And triple SMG. Um, Now, if I remember correctly, and I probably don't remember correctly, but better SMGs are actually also better at infiltrating. Sixteen. What is fifteen? Yeah, that got us one hour. Or number two. Because it's sixty eight percent, which means we get above hundred percent with the with a boost. Two hours actually to spare. Okay. So now we just need some armor here for the guys. So you have one command, you have revival protocol and you have a trap weapon. And not great aim uh, to begin with. You have mobility though. And we have money. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get another sub corner. It's good enough to run up and give a point blank shot. What's your willpower like? You have 15, so 31 without that. Kinda leaning towards giving you a mobility PCS so that you're 
not at 11, but 12. One additional tile of mobility. Yeah, I think the time where we need to run back-to-back -back missions with people are kind of over a little bit, so I'm okay. Going down here. And yeah, so you're still not going to be available for covert actions, but that's fine. Um, and I think I'm going to do the... Uh, no, not that. going to do the respec. Get rid of Executioner, grab, bring him on instead. And then learn this. Gives us two Grenadiers that now have bring him on biggest booms. So that should certainly help. Also means no other Grenadiers are going to get it unless they start with bring him on in the XCOM row. Right, that was our, our rule for this campaign. Because I felt like, you know, I wanted a little bit of an equalizer, but having unlimited ability to pick your XCOM row perk would be kind of busted. So I hope that's a decent enough middle ground. Alright, bond training complete. Nobody else available for bond training. Well, Action together is complete, Commander. Yeah, Barra, Sectoid, Chrysalid. And the mech rack. Yeah, that was not that was not fantastic. So I'm actually thinking maybe maybe PCS might be good now. Ambush chance is really getting up there. We don't really have any other free soldier mission except for the uh, okay, rebels in East Africa, which we don't want because those could be faceless. So I got a progress, which is 10 days. Nine days if we bring our bond pair. Can I grenadier? Not necessarily the best the best pair for a ambush mission now. Uh, what's my timer on supply drop? Four days. Because I really want to do the bonding here, since that was in question. Let me do bondage action. Fifty percent ambush chance. So I think that we don't have the gun available right now, right? It's with our other gunner? No, it's... but yes, he's not on the mission. Okay. So... Those grenades would be strong in an ambush, but if it's a... Lost City ambush, and then of course you just call in additional lost with no way between the two to, to actually deal with them. So, mm -hmm, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a mission for supplies, yeah? We're gonna throw there's a boomer on this one. So we have got a flamethrower to potentially deal with lost. The 
No armor for you. Get a shotgun and... Paintings. And also no armor for you, but... Again, for an ambush situation, I think that's a strong squad. No fa failure chance. Extra supplies. We will begin the covert action. And with the four-day timer, it finishes just with the supply drop. Meanwhile, oh, VIP extract revealed start for another engineer. Do we need another engineer? No. But it's a mission, that's a good timer, it's a strength 2 region. Gives us an intel package, so scanning site. Like, at the moment, considering we have also a little bit of a tech advantage, that's... Kind of a free XP to me. Um, but I'm gonna... Like, it's a generous timer, right? I think we're actually gonna wait for, for the supply drop advanced coil guns. Um, because I want to level up the Reaper, but I don't have a good weapon for the Reaper yet. So let's wait for coil guns, and then we'll be gonna be able to um, buy the coil vector rifle. Um, right, this reached 100%. There's, this is the anti-dark event where we also need to boost it. Alright, I feel like this is, of course, still going to be 10 to 12. And even though we have our Master Sergeant Sharpshooter here, I'm going to play this one safe. So we're going to over-infiltrate, which probably means... No, what's this then? Smash and grab? Yeah, we kind of also want to do this. Um, but let's do those two first, yeah. So this is now at 100% with one hour until we must launch it. This ticked down to vulnerable, but still 10 to 12. I just let it run in a few hours. Oh, is this is this some sort of special mission? Oh, that's lip two. Yeah, okay. Lip two is always one one strike fire. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna think about which one of those two I want to do. Probably this because it will force me to do this one because it's about to expire. Um, so yeah, we're gonna rescue a VIP from a cell, and then we're gonna rescue a VIP from a cell, because uh, we like variety in our missions, but we'll do all of that in the next episode, well, in the next few episodes. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.